Living here in this country, um, we've all been brought up a certain way. And that way is, is that we do not think like a Western culture. As a matter of fact, we think from a very Western perspective. And that means we equate everything to mental ascent. That's the reason why we have so many problems. And that's the reason why there are so much, you know, struggles and so many fights and arguments that go on uh, when it comes to understanding the scripture biblically. Because here in America, people have been raised to process thought with a certain mindset. So when you get someone like me who comes and starts speaking from a biblical perspective, a Hebrew perspective, uh, the first thing we do is we fight, we resist against the truth that is being said because, uh, you know, we have not been trained, if I can use that word properly and right or educated properly and right um and you know to think right you know I, hey I, I read this bible i'm a student of it and and um, they did things quite differently and the book is a hebrew book and so therefore it is um um expressed quite differently um uh, than we have in this culture today um for instance i'll give you an example most marriages suffer simply because there's a lot of rebellion in it I mean, there's just an extraordinary amount of rebellion. Now, what's amazing is, is that we want, if, you, if you're a wife, you want the husband um, to get right. You want him to serve God. You want him to um, um, lead the house and guide the house. Um, but then, in the midst of all this, uh, we don't really think about the trade-off, ladies, what we're asking for. I mean, sometimes we're praying for our husband to be saved. Um, and to be filled with the Holy Spirit, which you should. And I mean, it's a desire of everybody. But you know what's really left out in a lot of things? Once this happens, you're not willing to relinquish the control and the power that you have gained for all the years that he didn't even know that he was in control. Ah, oh, you sisters know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So when a husband does end up getting saved, when he does end up starting keeping the commandments and he starts reading his Bible and stuff and he discovers exactly who he is and what his role is, um, all of a sudden now we got even more hell in the marriage than what we did before he was converted. And the reason being is because you're not about to relinquish power. You wouldn't believe how many women manipulate and control and dominate every aspect of their marriages. What this is, is in essence, it's witchcraft. Um, and, 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 you know, witchcraft is a form of divination. But you know what? You, you don't never pay attention to uh, the sin of rebellion, which is also witchcraft. Because, wives, the Bible clearly says you ought to submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. That's just the truth. And we don't like that. Oh, we, we hear the word, we understand it. But actually doing it is a little bit more than himself. See, last now, video. women, I got to ask yourself a question. I got to ask you a question. Would you speak to, would you talk, or even would you even try to manipulate, dominate, control, or underminingly try to handle the Messiah in your house? Would you? Well, you should not do your husband the same way, whether he is in the faith or out of faith, whether he understands it or knows it or not, because what you're doing, you're sinning, and you're practicing witchcraft. In essence, you are a witch. And then it says, look what it said in 1 Samuel 15, 23, and stubbornness. You know, a, a stubborn person is an insolent person. That's the person that says, I hear this truth, I know this truth, but I ain't going to change. I ain't going to change. I'm not planning on it. I'm not ready to change. That is an insolent person. That is a very arrogant and a very presumptuous person right there. And, hey, can you blame your husband resisting you? When you try to talk to him about God and when he sees all of this that you've got operating in your life, he's like, man, I don't even want to hear that. I don't even want to hear that. How are you going to tell me about being holy and look at all this mess you got going on with your character and nature? Huh? For rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh. He have also rejected thee from being king. Did you see, you know, the most I reject in us and it seems right because it is our own personal way and because it's our own personal way that way seems so right to us we wouldn't do it if it did not seem right that's the reason why we do it that's the deception and that is the snare of the enemy 
And I tell you what, you feel that spirit in you rising up whenever you get corrected, whenever you get instructed or somebody raises their voice towards you or say something out of the way. Don't you feel that spirit that rises up from the inside? That's letting you know that it's not the Holy Spirit, that's a demonic spirit. And I know that many religions out here have adopted hands-off attitude concerning spiritual warfare. Nevertheless, you read the book, it's still in there. You cannot even read the Gospels and not see that people needed deliverance. As a matter of fact, he came to set the captives free, and many of you need freedom, husbands and wives. Because, hey, we're in a crossfire right now. Everybody is trying to get the other person right. And we're not even right ourselves. That's a broke situation right there. And it's not going to happen. No, you ultimately have to work out your own soul salvation. And you must do it with fear and with trembling. Women, you should not take the Jezebel side of things. And, um, and dominate and control and manipulate and resist. And put up roadblocks. And do whatever you want to do. And then fuss and fight and argue and use witchcraft to manipulate the situation around to fit you. Now, oh, yeah, we do that, don't you, women? Don't you do that, women? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In order to have it your way and then say, look what the Lord has done for us. And you have done nothing but just flat out lie. 